Shonda Rhimes' captivating period television series, Bridgerton's new season, has been a massive hit yet again for Netflix, and fans have explored the show frame by frame to find some of the most exciting, interesting, and crazy hidden details and Easter eggs. Season two adapts the novel The Viscount Who Loved Me, which explores Anthony Bridgerton's journey to find a wife after he decides he should settle down and continue the family line. Jonathan Bailey wonderfully plays Anthony Bridgerton in both seasons of this remarkable series, and there have been many hidden details throughout, and if you are a true fan, were you able to spot any of these? Throughout the two seasons of Bridgerton, multiple nature motifs, including bees, butterflies, and birds, were utilized to explore the characters and provide symbolism about their journeys. In season one, bees were used frequently throughout the season. Eloise wore a bee brooch and Anthony's collar had bee embroidery. The first season opened with a shot of a bee on the doorknob and ended with a bee landing on Daphne's windowsill. This inclusion of bees pointed toward the importance of bees within the novels and how important they would be in season two with its focus on Anthony. Anthony's father died from a bee sting, and this moment is explored within season two, where Anthony's fear of bees becomes a focal point within the story. In addition to this, in season two, Anthony chooses the horse named Nectar when he attends a horse race, offering another nod to bees. In season one, a butterfly motif is frequently used in reference to the Featherington family, and this is further explored in their clothing. Butterflies show up on specific pieces of clothing, such as a dress worn by Penelope. The staircase in their home is also covered with metal butterflies flies. This points toward the theme of transformation within the Featherington family, which continues in season two. The Featherington family is one of new money, trying to stand out among the families who grew up with wealth. Butterflies transform from caterpillars and utilize bright colors to attract attention. This is represented in the clothing and personality of the Featherington family throughout both seasons of the series. Season two shows transformation within the Featherington family and the story itself. Penelope, who we know as Lady Whistledown, branches out in her writing to create a book review which highlights an author's past work in relation to his latest. This book review works to show the transformation between the two seasons of Bridgerton. The first involves guessing the identity of Lady Whistledown, while the second focuses more on waiting for the characters to discover her identity. Season two offers references to the Bridgerton series of books, specifically the author. When Anthony is looking through the list of names for potential wives, the list includes Lady Julia, who is described as a romantic, and Miss Quinn, who is described as an exceptional writer. These names together are a reference to Julia Quinn, the author of the series of books that inspired the television series following the Bridgerton siblings. This is a nice reference for fans of the book series that is well hidden, but placed in a moment that has great importance for the story of the series. Season. Fans looking for the smallest, most hidden details will be happy to notice this perfect reference to the book's author. Some of the most important and recognized moments in the book come when the characters join together for a game of Pall Mall, which is a form of croquet where the goal is to make your opponents lose rather than help yourself win. The second season of Bridgerton brings Paul Mall to life while combining together two important Paul Mall scenes from the book to create an unforgettable moment. In the book, a black mallet is referred to as the mallet of death. In the show, this name is given another symbolic meaning. Kate uses the mallet within the game of Paul Mall, and at one point, her ball is sent to the final resting place of Anthony's father, allowing for this moment to transition from playful banter into something more emotional and serious for Kate and Anthony's relationship. Season two of Bridgerton shows us a ball with the purpose of finding Anthony a bride, but only the Bridgerton and Sharma families attend. Instead of canceling the event, the two families dance together, finding a way to join together and enjoy the night. The two families dance around the Bridgerton family's crest on the floor with its motto in the center, family before all. This works wonderfully to foreshadow the connection between these two families later on in the season through the wedding of Anthony and Kate. This visual representation of the two families coming together in a joyful moment shows us a glimpse into how the season will end and with whom Anthony will find his true happiness. Another moment which shows the connections between the Sharma and Bridgerton families comes when Anthony gives flowers to Kate. He chooses tulips, which his mother referred to as a symbol of passion in season one. His decision to give this flower to Kate is inspired by his mother and her love for the flower. This also works as a nice reference to the novel, where Anthony plucks a tulip from the gardens and gives the single flower to Kate. In the novel, his mother has tulips planted around their home because they are her favorite flower. 
Shonda Rhimes wears her love for the BBC Pride and Prejudice on her sleeve with Bridgerton. This is a period television series that comes from a lover of the genre and its adaptations, especially that of Colin Firth's Mr. Darcy in the 1995 Pride and Prejudice adaptation. Season 1 gave Simon a Mr. Darcy-inspired moment with his rainy confession with Daphne. Season 2 follows this trend of moments, inspired by the iconic and wet moment with Colin Firth's Darcy. Anthony has a moment that rings especially true to the most iconic lake scene in Pride and Prejudice. When talking with Kate, Anthony trips over her dog, which lands him in the lake. He emerges with his clothes dripping wet in a moment that highlights their banter and humor, as well as the sensuality and sexual chemistry between the pair. In addition to this moment, Anthony also comes to terms with his feelings for Kate as he lets all of his emotions out during a fencing match. This references the moment in the 1995 Pride and Prejudice where Darcy comes to terms with his feelings for Lizzie while fencing. In an especially memorable moment, Kate wanders through the library when she cannot sleep after the news of her sister's engagement to Anthony. Kate's own feelings are overwhelming her, leading to another run-in with Anthony. When Anthony comes across her in the library, the moment mirrors one between Darcy and Lizzie in Pride and Prejudice. In season two of Bridgerton, Anthony and Kate share a wonderful moment reminiscent of My Fair Lady, Pretty Woman, and other films such as classic screwball comedies that highlight social class and expectations. Throughout Bridgerton season two, Kate is a closed off and buttoned up character, but this changes when she attends the horse race alongside Anthony, her sister Edwina, and many more characters. At the horse race, Kate lets it all out as she cheers, screams, and even whistles. This shares similarities to the moment where Eliza Doolittle attends a horse race and her natural accent and personality come through. This also recalls the moment in Pretty Woman when Vivian attends a polo match and cheers on louder than everyone around her and whistles to show her excitement and support. This moment shows the differences between Kate's more buttoned up persona and who she really is underneath it, in a similar way to how screwball comedies allow their heroines moments to be loud and in charge, to signify differences between the heroine and her leading man. Color theory is prominent throughout both seasons of Bridgerton within the signature colors of each family and how these shades reflect their personalities and demeanors. The Bridgerton family is often seen in pastel hues, especially blue, silver, and green. This works to represent their family as a refined and posh one. This works in direct contrast with the Featherington family, who dress in bright neon shades, most notably yellow, especially in the case of Penelope. This has been noticed to reference traffic lights. Yellow tells us to pay attention and slow down. In the case of using this color for Penelope, it was an early indicator that she is Lady Whistledown, the gossip girl of the Regency era. With such a bright color, it also gives the audience a chance to notice Penelope in the background of important moments. But the creators of the series worked to make sure it was not too obvious for first-time viewers. In every big moment that is gossiped about by Lady Whistledown, Penelope can be seen hiding and lurking in the background or looking on from around corners. The Sharma family often wear bold colors, but dark darker jewel tone shades inspired by their Indian culture. The fabric of their clothes utilizes silk often, furthering this cultural connection within their clothing. In addition to this, Kate and Edwina's clothing symbolizes the personality of their characters. Kate is often in thicker materials, such as taffeta, to show the more stiff, rigid aspect of her personality. Her sister Edwina is in lighter shades, as well as lighter weight, more freeing fabrics. The clothing of the Sharma family uses intricate beading, which is another staple in Indian fashion. The use of rose gold jewelry for the Sharma family also reflects Indian culture and fashion. Kate's clothing changes as Bridgerton season two progresses. At the beginning of the season, her clothes are more restrained and restricted. They also cover up more of her body, showing her more as a protective figure, trying to help her younger sister find a man and not actively looking for a husband herself. As Kate becomes more at ease and comfortable around the Bridgerton family, especially Anthony, her clothes are less restrictive and more free. Her hair also starts the season primarily pulled tight without any loose pieces. As the season progresses, she lets more and more of her hair 
hair flow freely, signifying a freedom and comfort around Anthony as their relationship progresses. In addition to Kate, Anthony's appearance also changes from his more rakish look in season one. As Anthony decides he must find a wife and settle down, his look becomes more contained and clean. His long sideburns are cut shorter, and his hair is also shorter and more maintained. This works with Anthony's change in personality and focus on being a more mature version of himself. As the season progresses, Anthony becomes more consumed with his love and passion for Kate that he spends less time focused on his looks. In episode 7, when the Bridgerton family discusses the rumors surrounding their family and the change to Anthony's marriage plan, this change in his grooming is especially noticeable, and at one point, Benedict even asks him to shave. In season two of Bridgerton, Penelope disguises herself with a blue cape when she visits the printers. This cape resembles what Eloise wore when she visited the printers in her mission to figure out the identity of Lady Whistledown. The similar garment and use of the Bridgerton family color showcases the connection between Eloise and Penelope. Throughout season two, Eloise's fashion sense changes to involve more waistcoats and striped and checkered patterns, signifying a focus on her literary ambitions rather than those of finding a husband. Her clothes more closely resemble resemble the patterns and styles of the male characters. This focus on her literary aspirations also comes through in her room. The shelves are full of books and a portrait of Mary Wollstonecraft, whose works advocating women's rights were being read and quoted by Eloise. In Bridgerton, the music brings together the Regency era and modern day with its instrumental versions of popular songs. In season one, these included Taylor Swift's Wildest Dreams and Ariana Grande's Thank You, Next. Season two includes classical covers of Alanis Morissette's You Oughta Know, Harry Styles' Sign of the Times, and Miley Cyrus's Wrecking Ball, among many more. Using classical versions of modern music gives Bridgerton its unique feeling of Regency through a modern lens, highlighting the idea that Bridgerton is Gossip Girl if it were set in the Regency era. Did you catch these details in season two of Bridgerton? Are you excited to see more of Julia Quinn's Bridgerton novels adapted in future seasons of Netflix's hit show? Bridgerton is a complex, exciting, and unique show with a cast of talented performers bringing your favorite characters to life. Every season has new details to uncover and we barely scratch the surface. Which hidden details throughout both seasons of Bridgerton are your favorite? Let us know in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to check this next one out.